And then we'll wash it here once I cut it all. And we'll go over there. We'll turn the camera around and we'll come back over here. And we'll start. Has he met anybody weird off that lift yet? Um, <laughs> he had one woman give him his number and he's like, we, the whole time we talked, we talked about you and the kids and all this. And she handed my number and said, call me sometime, baby. <laughs> he's what? Like, <laughs> really? Oh. The whole time we talked about my wife and the kids. <laughs> and apparently, um, yeah. okay. Right on. You didn't get the whole concept yeah. of what, <laughs> yeah. what was going on, but okay, whatever you want to do. I'm not yeah. calling you. Yeah, no. Like, I kind of like my wife and kids. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. I mean, yeah. I guess people in this town are kind of nut jobs. I was an Uber driver back in uh, in Columbia, Missouri, and uh, I had one one guy, and the whole time he was really cool. He's like, "Oh, you have a son? Does he like superheroes? All this stuff?" I'm like, "Yeah." And then like, as soon as we crossed the city limit sign, and we went out of the city limits, like like to bring him home, he like. So you can come back and see my horses? I'm like, um, your horses? What? Like, okay. Um, and I, because it was out of city limits, I thought, all right, well, you live out, uh, you live out in the country, so cool. You maybe have horses. Like, no, I'm not gonna come and see them now, but cool. That's cool that you have horses. And then I showed up to his house, and it's like apartment buildings. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he's like, yeah, right? yeah. I'm like, you can get out of my car now. I'm like, I'm not gonna drive you down the driveway. I'm like, you can get out. Right yeah. <laughs> right now. You're showing penny, but <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you're just gonna get out right now. You can walk up the driveway. That's fine. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. Yeah, yeah. That's ridiculous. People yeah. are so creepy. Yeah, they really are. <laughs> Is this one on? Okay. And they're gonna voice over all this. <laughs> <laughs> See when you grow back up. <laughs> Next year. I love that your husband is so cool about all this. That's yeah, he, awesome. He, he's, he's, good. he's like, it's hair, it'll grow back. It's fine. It's all good? <laughs> yeah. Now, what made you want to shave it the first time that you did? Um, I had my son, and I just didn't know what to do with it anymore because he was taking up so much time. <laughs> so I was like, I just get rid of it. That's fine.
And when I was younger, like, I had no choice but to have long hair. What do you mean you had no choice? My, I grew up with my grandmother. Okay. So, like, she was, she's, like, 90 years old, and her hair's down her butt. Oh, wow. Yeah, like, okay. white, white hair down her butt. Wow. So she uh, she wanted you to she wanted us to have long hair and every night we'd go to ha bed with curlers and no sh yeah no, shut up yeah so I was younger and then when I turned sixteen I was like I'm cutting it all off I'm done and I literally put the bowl on my head and cut it all off did you really yeah <laughs> oh wow they were so mad at me but I was like whatever and did any of your siblings like rebel too um. My sister Monica did. She sh completely shaved her head, and she's been doing it for like 15, 20 years now. Wow. Yeah. She's just like, I'm done with all Yeah. This. She's like, I don't care about hair. It's it's cool. If you want it, buy a wig. It's good. Yeah. And like I said, it grows back. So if you're patient enough and you really want it, it will grow back. <laughs> exactly. Most people don't aren't patient enough. Such a harsh line back here, girl. Oh yeah. Your husband had to have told you. Oh yeah, he did. He's like, I'm gonna try and fix it for you, but I don't know if I can do it. I'm like it's alright. I'm like, I'll go get it done. Yeah. <laughs> this time I'll actually seek professional help. <laughs> That story you just said the come see my horses. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> like really? And I couldn't say like come see my dogs or yeah, my no, no. Fish. Like come see my horses. I'm like, oh okay. at an apartment complex. Yeah. Cause like once you drive out of city limits of Columbia, it's like straight up country. So So you were kind of I was like, Oh yeah, cool, horses. Like maybe I'll see them when I drive down your driveway. No. I'm not no. gonna come inside or anything. No, no, no. There That's was, really there was crazy. No horses there at all. Did you ask him like what the hell? Or are you just like get out of the um, car? I was just like get out of my car. Please go. <laughs> But there wasn't a lot of girl Uber drivers there, so like a lot of the time I would get a call and then it would cancel because it was like, I don't know, everybody loved my husband, he drove for Uber too. Um, but like I would get a lot of the girls uh, and they would text me like, where are you? So I can request you first so I don't get a guy driver. Were the really guys creepy? Um, some of them were. Um, there were a lot of old men, a lot of oh. old men. And like they'll be like, it's so weird to have such an old guy like driving. Like, should they even still have their license? That is so funny. Was there a lot of like nightclubs or anything in Missoula? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> this is a college town. There's three colleges in the city limits. Oh wow. There's the University of Missouri, um, and then there was Columbia Community College, and then there was a private college. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, there was a lot of people. But literally, as soon as school ended, like it died. It was empty? Yeah, empty, completely empty. They would just leave? Where would yeah. they go? Back home or... <laughs> anywhere but there? Yeah, anywhere but there. Jeez. That's crazy. Yeah. Was there just nothing to do when school wasn't in? Um, 
Yeah, really. It was more like all the people that lived there. That's when they actually came out and did their things. But a lot of people that lived there have their own vehicles. And the people there for school did it? Yeah. Well, if you live on campus, um, you're, if you're a freshman, you're not allowed to have a vehicle. Why? On campus. So just because those are the rules, if you live on campus, you can't have your own vehicle unless you pay, like, arm and a leg to have parking. Seriously? Yeah. I had one girl, she, she was living on campus, it was with her tuition, and she paid uh, like $400 a month for her spot, <gasps> so she could have her vehicle, so she could drive to and from work. Yeah. I was like, oh gosh, that's out of my <laughs> Now, why would they make them pay? You're already paying for school. Yeah. Well, it's just money hungry. Yeah, but, oh my god. Yeah, it's crazy. I mean, you're paying for school. How are you supposed to pay for school if you're not working? Yeah. Yeah. It's just weird. A lot of the majority of the like people that I would pick up and stuff. Oh, my dad's paying for this ride, so it's okay. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. <laughs> We're gonna double listen. Yeah, yeah. Or like if they wanted to stop off at like McDonald's or like Burger King, it's 25, 25 cents a minute to be in the car. And most of the Is time, it? yeah. And most of the time, it's like, well, that's just through Uber. I don't know what Lyft does. Um, but uh, they. It would be like a 45 minute wait until they got their food, even from McDonald's, because there's so many people there. They uh, they would literally wait. I had one girl, I had to go in to Taco Bell to get her. You were like, I'm done. Yeah, I'm like, can I just bring you home, like, your food? You already have your food. You're just here chit-chatting chat, with people, like... But you're getting paid, though, right? Yeah, I got 50, 50 bucks off that one call. Seriously? Yeah. It's kind of nice. Yeah. I drove one person out, um, it was a two and a half hour ride, and then two and a half hours back, and they paid for dead mileage because I went so far, so it was pretty cool. Now was this the Lyft or whatever it Uber? Uber, yeah. They assigned that price, or they just paid you extra? Uh, no, they, they assigned the price. It was um, mileage and the time they spend in the car. Like the pickup fee was like $2. So and it wouldn't have been a long thing if they weren't waiting you wait yeah but i bet they didn't even care yeah no they didn't care as long as they got their food they were happy you know what i will say taxis are way worse i drove a taxi i was in a rush to get out of one of these cities mm -hmm. um, that i was working at it i uh, paid four hundred dollars for like a three hour ride two hour ride three hundred dollars plus i had a tip then what? that's crazy that's why all the um drivers taxi drivers out here hate uber and lyft oh it, yeah it's cutting into their their bag mm -hmm. I'm surprised it's legal. Like, I'm surprised the main taxis are still in business. Mm -hmm. well, who rides a taxi anymore? Yeah. What about Uber and Lyft? Well, it feels more personal. True. Yeah. My husband's only been driving Lyft for like a month now. And most of his comments are, oh, best, best Lyft driver ever. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah. There's some weirdo Lyft drivers, though. Oh, yeah, there are. I don't know, was telling me about his dead mom, and I was sitting there like, oh, my goodness, can I get out of this car? <laughs> I don't want to and I was driving one minute down the road. Like, I just didn't want to walk. Yeah. And within that, you know, minute or two, I was fine. I was, I was like, like, I should have totally walked. Please. <laughs> Get me out of this one. I'd never taken Lyft before. And yeah. I was like, do I need to do anything else? Like, do I need to sign anything? He's like, I mean, you can tip me. I was like, uh, who no. asked that? Yeah. yeah, no, I'm good. I was like, oh, no. So do they pay for like insurance on your car? Do they give you anything for that? Um, no. Like, okay. Let's get any like personal whatever. Okay, somebody throws up in the car. <laughs> do they pay for that? We, yep. We, uh, we have to take pictures and send them in. Um, and 
I had one girl throw up in my car and I got like $300 for it. Seriously? It was bad. I had to get it professionally cleaned. Oh, God. Yeah. yeah. So, it was kind of crazy. That's disgusting. Yeah. I feel like that sm has that smell ever gone away? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's why I got it professionally cleaned because I was like, there's no way I'm going to be able to get this thing out of the car. That no is way. so nasty. Disgusting. Yeah. And is that just Lyft that does that or is that Uber too? Uber does it too. Uber there's a minimum. I think it's like two hundred dollars. But like Lyft they'll charge you as bad as it looks. Like so they're most of the time like if you go online and they like show you how to do it if you've never like had to put in a complaint like that before. Like most of the comments are make it look as bad as it possibly can so you can get as much money out of it as possible. And who pays for that? Um, Lyft pays for half of it, and then the customer has to pay for the rest. So a six, seven dollar call could end up being a two hundred dollar call because you got sick in your car. Yeah. You know, it's still better than driving yourself. Yeah, so that's okay. Yeah, because there have been many times that I've picked up customers and not even a street over there was somebody pulled over in their car for getting arrested for a DUI. Oh yeah. So they're like, oh yeah, I'm so glad I called you. <laughs> it's just not worth it or you hit somebody. Like mm -hmm. I would rather get pulled over for a DUI than hit somebody. Yeah. I'd rather neither, but yeah. <coughs> Yeah. Did she just turn two or she? Oh, she's not two. She'll be two in August. But I just say she's two because she's so. Like, she tries to be just like her brother. So she tries really hard to be two, but she's not two. <laughs> she's still working on it. Yeah, yeah. wear your hair up a lot? Yeah. And that's kind of another reason why I just wanted it all gone. Cause I, I like doing my hair, but then there are just moments I'm like, oh, I'm just going to put it up. I'm over it. I'm yeah. over it. But when it's short, you really have no other choice but to do something quick with it. Right? It's not that hard yeah. at all.
you decide not to do out here? Huh? And you don't do the lift out here, right? Not yet. We just, we use a rental through Lyft. Uh, we just need to get our cars transferred. Oh, okay. From Missouri to here. It's expensive. Yeah. For my car and his car, it's like $500 to get everything switched over. So it's ridiculous. Yeah. I'm gonna think it's so funny he has longer hair than me. <laughs> is his hair longer? Yeah. Well, his 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 top is longer. Like he has a mohawk right now. And you told your kids, yeah? Yeah. And what they think? Oh, he he thinks it's cool. He loves when I cut my hair. Does he? Yeah. All of my sisters are like, oh my god, how could you cut your hair like that? And then my sister Monica's like, I don't care. I got I shave my head every day. Okay. Right? Yeah. And I'm Good like, for you. Um, I just like doing different stuff, you know, it's just... It's just hair. Yeah, it's just hair. It grows back. Sweet. Perfect? Yeah, I love it. Put a little hairspray and you'll be good. <laughs> Not yet. I'm not there yet. Maybe next time you have one of these, I'll do it. <laughs> I'm gonna take a picture too. Okay. So same thing, look straight, okay. and then... Alright, go ahead and look straight at me. Super. Yeah, I'm going to just a little bit. Our plant right now. plant is like right in the way. <laughs> Alright, just look a little bit that way. Super cute. Love it. Thank you so much. Yeah. Sweet. <laughs> huh? <laughs> and then you're gonna walk right around and he's gonna take care of the rest.